Hi YouTube and welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about how much money can you make as a day trader. So stay tuned. Money, money, money. It makes your world go around, right? And the biggest question in the traders community is how much money can one make as a forex stock or commodities or in this trader and although i cannot answer questions for the stock market trade for traders for a stock market for in this for commodities because i'm not familiar with those markets i'm not uh, trading those markets i can answer questions for the forex market and it might be something that you won't like because a lot of people are coming in a trading because they're getting they want to get rich really quick and maybe i was not fair to you uh when starting this video but i have to tell you this video is going to be more of a rant more of me speaking basically and telling you what is actually realistically what can you actually realistically make as a forex trader okay now the a cap on, on your income on, on, as a forex trader is literally like very, very, very high. But that depends on few main main factors. I first want to address the social media posts about flipping accounts, about making millions of dollars, about having a lifestyle, a lifestyle like driving Lambos, uh, buying you know, Louis Vuitton, Rolexes and all of that stuff. Uh, you know, as soon as as you started, like if you if you were to start trading right now, and then you would be able to do all of those things that social media uh, w wants you to think in within two months. That's not gonna happen. No, at least if it happens for you, then you gambled. You didn't trade. You made a huge gamble and you won. Okay, you have actually, in my opinion, you have better chances to take all of your money and go in a casino and put it on black. Okay, because uh, otherwise, I don't think that you will be able to sustain the profitability if you were able to flip a few accounts and buy a Lambo within your first two months of trading. And why is that? Well, first of all, a bunch of social media guys, a bunch of social media traders that are posting those, those false claims uh, haven't done it at all. They're, they're flexing, they're showing their demo accounts. Maybe they, you know, the cool trick that... that Every scammer learns as the first of their tricks is uh, you take one trade, you go long on one account and you go short on the other account. Then one of them will win, obviously, huge amount of money. And then you show that account. Sure, it can be a live account, it can be smaller, it can be bigger, but it all depends. And they just use those kind of tricks to lure you in in their trading in their training programs for trading and blah 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 then then show you just a bunch of uh support and resistant lines that say buy here go uh, follow me yeah we eat today uh, uh forex market blessed me and all of that bullshit that's not realistic that's not what's going to happen to you that's not what you can expect if you're one of those traders, just close this video. That's it. I'm not gonna talk about this this kind of stuff here because I won't. I was once a seeker of fortunes in a market. Three years ago, when I was first starting, I believed that I can start with a thousand dollars and that I can start trading immediately and start making I don't know, five hundred bucks per day, thousand dollars, five hundred bucks per day. Imagine, just just imagine. A uh, person, if if I was to, if anybody was able to make that kind of money, why would they have need, have a need to sell the training course or a signal service for fifty pounds per per month to help you? I don't know. I just don't know. Well, let's get back to the subject. Why did I say that um, making bunch of money? with trading that, that there is literally no cap on how much money can you make because that's actually true but because if you're managing a lot of money like 10 million dollars 5 million a million dollars then you know you will be you will be making a lot of money with forex trading because first of all to calculate this 
I need to tell you what's what is kind of realistically what can you expect okay because if you do everything right if you create your trading system if you you know backtest everything every single strategy you filter the losers you put in the work months and months and years of work and then you create a system you will find out and then you know <laughs> you will find out that some kind of realistic expectations would be up to maybe 60 top 70 percent return per year now this is like really really high by the way okay more realistically is 35 up to 50 you know depends on your strategy depends on how do you train and everything now taking having that in mind that you can make 50 percent return for for the purpose of this video everything else depends on how much money can you manage are you managing plus are you managing your own money or you have the investors money because let's take the example that you're managing uh, your own money so if you're starting to trade uh, learning to trade and let's say that you created your system and now you have five thousand five hundred thousand dollars to put in in to the brokerage to the broker and then start trading it and assuming that you can uh, make 50% return in your first year you're gonna make obviously two hundred fifty thousand dollars which is 50% return on five hundred thousand dollars which is decent amount of money spent what is it 20 grand per month right however it's very hard and very unrealistically unrealistic to expect that everybody will have five hundred thousand dollars to invest in to give to the broker and then trade with it and to make this kind of returns within your first year why because you never traded that much money before you have to build yourself up to the level where you can actually manage that kind of money because you know starting low with thousand dollars and then making 30 percent return you can sustain probably 10 percent drawdown because it's just 100 bucks but imagine having 10 percent drawdown on a five hundred thousand dollars of your own money which is actually then fifty thousand dollars that you lost now you gotta recoup that back through trading and you are just starting out you're unexperienced you know it's very hard uh, psychologically but assuming that you can you can make two hundred fifty thousand dollars in your first year in the next year then you return fifty percent more assuming that you didn't take any of the of them of them profits out of the broker so your fifty percent on seven hundred fifty thousand dollars which you have right now in your broker's account is what 375 right and then that that so-called compound interest right it goes up goes up goes up so you, within few years of you successfully trading assuming that you can consistently provide uh, a 50 percent return then you will get very very rich very very quickly and very soon you will find yourself managing two million dollars and returning 50 percent is a million dollar per year that's a lot of money a lot of money however more realistic thing is that when you go through the journey when you create your backtested system and you create your rule-based system and all of that stuff when you start trading you start trading low probably on a ten thousand dollar account or five thousand dollar then you go a full year trading just that account you find yourself as a trader you return 30 percent next year you return 40 45 percent because you you were honing your skill in your first year of trading you were adding capital and you were you started building those connections and eventually investor comes in an investor gives you 50 grand right or maybe another investor gives you another 50 grand so you have hundred thousand dollars right now and you start managing those money but you know it's not your money you have hundred thousand dollars money in your broker's account and you, it's not yours mm -hmm. so what now now 10 percent drawdown is not 10 percent drawdown of your own money it's theirs money hmm. things are getting harder right because you have a pressure from the investor you know to, to provide returns because that, that's why they invested with you so let's say that you get out of the that assumed 
drawdown and you return 30%. So you actually return $30,000, but you split it with the investor. So you get to keep $15,000, you know? You get to keep $15,000, half of it. Okay, and then you start building yourself as a trader. You start growing, you, you know, you start learning more, learning, honing, improving your system, and eventually you get more and more investors. You get to $500,000. You have some of your money as well, and then you start returning 40, 50% per year, and eventually you will get to the point where you can make probably millions in returns. However, it will take time. So realistically, how much can people make by trading Forex? <laughs> I think a lot of money. However, it will take time because you have to build your system. You have, you have to see who are you as a trader when you're trading live. And then you got to get the investors to invest with you. And you have to put your own money there as well. So realistically, I cannot tell you how much money are you going to return? But I can tell you that you can expect up to 50 or maybe 60% returns per year when you're a really, 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 really good trader. With that being said, I'm going to end my rant here where I'm, all, I'm speaking for 10 minutes here. I want to thank you again for staying up until the end of this video. I'm, I have to do my pre-market analysis as well. Also, what I think I got to do is invite you to click that like button. Also, make sure to click that share button and click that, of course, subscribe button and a bell button. Thank you very much, guys, just for staying until the end of this video and catch you up soon. Bye bye.